I'm traveling around my pundits, seeing this whole place, and then we said run this. I'm writing up bars in London, Dublin boy, he Dublin, Dublin. And it's a bit of darkness, and now we're into the light. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's all I'll say. So we're here, very Carrick Park for the last time this year with the Wexford FC men's team. Yo, why are you making it sad, bro? It's uh, it is hard, bro. <laughs> It's the start of something beautiful, bro. It's the start of something beautiful, but it's the end of an era at the same time, bro. We've yeah. been to every single game this season, bro. But anyways, we got a, a nice game. Look, big, big show out today. The biggest turnout of the season yes, so sir, far. Yes, Let's sir. The car park pool. Full up. I had to park by the by the Astro Turf in them, man. One sec, we're getting in there now. Just, um, just go and buy the boys now. Mick Hurl and them, man. Yeah, welcome here. Yeah, yeah. Last, last tip of the season. Uh, Wexford to score two goals. Three to one. Paddy Powers, get out. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Mick's always out here with the best predictions in the game. Work rate, work rate, work rate, work rate, work rate. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. And then the boys down there doing their usual stuff. Um, what was I gonna say? We have one of our guest stars there. <laughs> man, man. Voila. He's gonna play for Wexford FC one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that right? FC, isn't that, yeah? And he's gonna play for Ireland and that basketball like team. That. Something like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fanity, yeah. yeah. And obviously, no to racism. Everybody knows that. Take a step back and say no to racism. Wexford <laughs> FC got it right. No man, them came true. Printed all of the chants one by one. It's Kablamo. Kablam. Kablamo. Harry, Harry Groom, Harry, Harry Groom. Yeah. Say no more. We got the main man with us now, and he has <laughs> something to say. Podcast, he has man. something say to say. Right, go on. Hi, Declan. It's Frigo here. How you doing, buddy? I hope you got, hope we're going to get a great game tonight. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Go on, the boy. Frigo. Yeah. Go on, the boys. Uh, Carfit Simons putting him under pressure. That's a fantastic touch there by Craven. He can now play a good ball into the middle. Shot will be taken on. That's a super, super finish. Brandon Cavanagh. We have our opening goal and it's gone the way of Bray. Oh Harry Groom is going to be occupying that role now, but that's in right on top of the keeper. So it'll come down to Dobbin. Yes, and it's in, and it's Daniel Dobbin. Oh, Wexford have had that coming now for a good 23 minutes. Come on, son. What are you telling me? Bro, what are you telling me? Well, this is what we do, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have one for Dobbo. Viva Dobbo! Viva Dobbo! Running down the wing, hear Wexford sing. Viva Dobbo! Viva Dobbo! Viva Dobbo! Running down the wing, hear Wexford sing. Viva Dobbo! E rise Wexford Army! E rise Wexford Army! E rise Wexford Army! Two seconds later. Obviously, he's having a super game today and he's scored a goal. Well done, Daniel Dobbin. That is superb. Another player on loan um, from St. Pat's, actually. Oh, that's a disaster for Wexford. The Wexford defence was just caught in two minds. <laughs> For the second time, best fan base in Wexford, as we said, we said it before, we say it again. You know, firstly, I want to ask you, man, what do you think of the turnout today? 
What do you think? Good. I think Harry Groom is going to win the Ballon d'Or. Harry Groom is going to win the Ballon d'Or. What do you think of the turnout compared to the last time you were here? Way better, isn't it? Way better. Um, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's show everyone how many people actually turned out this time. That's way better. And yeah, to be honest as well, all the empty seats there after running to the chipper van. Because we have a chipper van now. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. We saved our peace for the last game. We you, you know. <laughs> we followed you all the way here. Ah, last year, that's what it is. Um, what do you make of the game then, boys? Um, who I'd wants to? Very even, but I'd say, yeah, I'd say Wexford win. Wexford's yeah. better than win. Wexford. Yeah. They do, you have reckon, to. do you reckon they're playing better than yeah. they're playing better Wexford football or not? They're playing way Wexford better. Wexford have the possession, but Bray are very good at getting the ball up. Yeah, and, and yeah. counter attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Wexford have way more shots on yeah. them. Yeah. 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 I'd say they'll come on with the win. I'd you say make sure so. this match next well now. I'm, guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing it's going to be 4 3. 4 3, yeah, what do you think? And probably. 4-2 four, 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 yeah? I think 3-2 Wexford will get a goal early on in the pack. Yeah, 3-2 Wexford. Say less, say less, say less. We'll see. We'll see. Like Wexford are just going to win. They're, they're, they're doing really good later. They are doing good. Get some yeah. of that half-time football, bro. Bruh, there's so many people around here, bro. Yeah, bro. It's bruh, actually, it's I'm actually overwhelmed. Oh, my God! Wow! Generation next of what's yeah. football. Is he? Yeah, he's a big player. He's only two times the size of the goal. They're playing some nice football. Though. I guess it just may as well be always recording. <laughs> ah, it's the best way to go. Tell you something now. Is it recording? It's recording or something. I'll tell you something there now. It's half time. We definitely been a better team. Um, created way more chances. The fans were getting behind them, and the lads were turning up, but we just weren't able to get the finishing touches on it. Okay, but it's looking good. Yo, man, la Foxy, what are you saying, bro? You all right? You good? bad. Hey, I'm bits. My man, what's up, bro? Takes a run up the line. Fit Simons has coming across well. Kept alive by Thompson. Good crossing. Fantastic. Oh, what a Fantastic save, Jimmy Corcoran. Save. Oh, that's it, boy. Super, super Jim, super, super Jim, super, super Jim, super Jimmy Corcoran. Super, super Jim, super, super Jim, super, super Jim, super Jimmy Corcoran. It's nice. Yeah, Jack Moylan was shaping up to take it, but as I said, Thomas was sneaking down the side there, so it was a nice little... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, just remember, you, folks, you can always wind back on LOA TV. You've got more replays even than we do. <laughs> it's probably going to confuse a few people in the stand. They're probably not too sure what happened, but look, we're, one thing we're sure of, it's two all here. That'll Oh, that'll oh, oh, that oh, oh, oh. Break here. Considine is going to switch on the afterburners here. Running at the Bray defence. Sends in an early cross. Looking for Evan Farrell. And it's oh, Evan Farrell and he scores his opening goal for Wexford FC. And that is an absolute cracker. What a header there by Evan Farrell. He's waited a long time for that one. And that's going to mean the world to Evan Farrell and the Farrell family. Absolutely deserves that. What a ball by Thomas Considine. And such bravery as well from Evan Farrell. Great header. Yeah, the boys. You guys are rocking. Jack Wood, back post. Yeah, it's in. Come on. For the second phase of that attack, and it nearly paid off at Wexford's fourth. Moylan chests it down really well to Evan Farrell. He's got bags of pace and energy. Back to Moylan. Jack Doherty's in space. Moylan wants to go himself. He's kept it going, oh, and Moylan's done it. Me. 
Jack Moylan. He's had a fantastic season here at Wexford and he's capped it off with another goal. Again, he just doesn't score easy goals. Yeah. Oh, boys. <laughs> another one, another one. We've got Super Jack Moylan! We've got Moylan! Super Jack Moylan! We just don't think you understand! He's Ian Ryan's man! He's better than Zidane! We've got Super Jack Moylan! Because they're we want him to do something! Da da da! Hey! Da 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 da! Hey! We want him and you some! We want him and you some! Da 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 da! Hey! Da da da! We want Eamon and Yusuf, we want Eamon and Yusuf, da 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 da, hey, da 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 da, hey, we want Eamon and Yusuf, we want Eamon and Yusuf, da 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 da, hey, da 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 da, hey. About 90 seconds left on the 2021 season for Wexford. Bray will carry on into the playoffs. <laughs> What was your favorite goal? I say back in the head. Evans with the, the yeah. flick on headed. That was that was a fresh goal. So here, the lads were telling me that every Wexford game that you've been to, we've won. Yeah. So that just means if you come to all the games next season, we're going to win the league. So you're going to be there, right? Yeah. That's it, pal. Well done. Wexford's on fire. Your defense is terrified. Wexford's on fire. Da -da -da. Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. I'm traveling around my pundits, seems no place, and then we said run this. I'm writing up bars in London, Dublin boy, he doubling, doubling. Lizzie in bed, yeah, I'm cuddling, cuddling, man in my brew, we bubbling. Too easy, it's troubling, troubling.